Welcome everyone to the second installment in our basic Photoshop tutorials. Uh, this this tutorial is designed to show you how to do the mirror effect or um, reflection effect depending on where you're looking. Um, this is a pretty simple tutorial, it'll be pretty short, uh, but it's, it, it'll be quick and uh, it will definitely be effective for you uh, if you're into graphics. So uh, first thing, of course, is new, file new, and create uh, a new document. Let's keep it, again, uh, default Photoshop size. Once you have all that set up, uh, we're going to do this particular one in, uh, using a text. Um, you could you can use pretty much anything you want, shapes. It doesn't really matter. But for this uh, tutorial, we'll use a text. Now, make sure you have um, a fairly simple text selected. In this case, I have, again, Arial Black selected. Um, the only problem with getting into um, complicated text is the mirror effect kind of gets lost. Um, so keep it pretty simple. Um, and and again, when you're when you're typing in whatever it is you're typing, make sure that nothing drops below um, the bottom portion of 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 your of your writing. So for example, if you have something like uh, uh, like like a P or a J. Um, you'll notice that it drops below the line. So if that's the case, type everything in capitals. And that, again, is um, crucial in, in creating a reflection as uh, you don't want to overlap your reflection as it won't look pretty real. Okay, so type in whatever it is you want to type in. In this case, I'm going to put tutorial. And uh, just click the apply button, which is the check mark in your tool options. Okay, now once we have that, uh, we're going to duplicate this text layer. Uh, the simple way to do that is to select, uh, hit Control and J at the same time. And that'll duplicate your layer. You, you'll see nothing really happen on your screen, but you will notice that you do have a, a text copy in your layers palette. Um, if you don't want to use the command buttons, just go to Layer and Duplicate. That's just another way to do it. But for the simplest way to do it is to select your layer and can hit Control J. So once we have our tutorial copy um, or text copy selected, um, we're gonna we're gonna flip that. So let's go to Edit and Transform and flip vertical. And you'll notice that uh, your text kind of becomes uh, unreadable. That's just simply because we've vertically flipped our copy on top of the original. Nothing to worry about. Um, so we're going to continue on. Let's just select the Move tool, which is uh, V, and uh, hit Shift, hold Shift, and click the left mouse button and drag your tutorial copy, text copy, down below your original text copy. And you'll notice that the uh, the copy is obviously flipped vertically. Make sure you flip it vertical because uh, otherwise the technique won't work. Let's turn off our transform controls, which are the little dots and boxes around our our text if you don't already have them off. So just come up to show transform controls and make sure the box is unselected. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the text as close to our original text as possible, but still leaving a little gap. So the simplest way to do that is just use your arrow buttons. This way you won't move it out of the way. If you want to use your mouse, just hold shift and left click and bring it up. But in this case, we're just going to use our arrow button. So move it up fairly close. You don't want to overlap. Um, you can, um, but for in this case, I find that leaving a little bit of a gap keeps for some realism. So once you have it where you want it, we're going to go ahead and uh, add our, our layer mask. So to add a layer mask, um, come down to the bottom of your layers palette um, area here and select Add Layer Mask, which is the square box with a white circle in the middle. You'll click that and you'll notice that there is a white box that shows up in your layer. That's the layer mask itself. So once uh, that's created, we're going to create our mirror effect. And to do that is to, once again, we added the layer mask and we have our layer still selected, which is our copy come over to the gradient tool make sure you have the gradient tool selected and go up to the, the color palettes and you have foreground to background selected and now make sure your foreground is set to black and your background is set to white um, the black gets rid of what we don't want and um, that might seem a little weird to you but that is the uh, that's just the way it works with uh, a layer mask so um, we're going to add the mirror effect now. So with the gradient tool selected and your layer select, your layer copy selected, 
hold the shift button down and come about actually just come about halfway down um, the copy text hold shift and left click and drag upwards to about halfway of the original text and you'll notice that there's a bit of a reflection underneath um, and again you can play around with this effect you can add more or less depending on how far down you go um, with your gradient uh, make sure you do however um, stay don't don't come below your copy text as you'll notice that the mirror effect is kind of lost it keeps the entire text by coming about halfway to just past halfway it does cut off the bottom portion of your text adding to the mirror effect so that's pretty much it for that tutorial it's fairly simple and of course like I said it was going to be quick um, once you get into some more detailed stuff you can uh, create something that's a little more distorted uh, you can start adding shapes to whatever it is you'd like um, and then like I said just play around with some options and that's what Photoshop's all about trial and error um, so just just keep it simple keep it quick and uh, and it'll be the best way for you so thanks again for uh, tuning in and uh, there'll be more to come so make sure you subscribe uh, rate and of course comment thank you